Hey guys, Classic Grim here. Welcome to more Super Mario Land 2. So, we have the Mario Zone to go through. Holy, those eyes are going to look a little creepy once we got back. <laughs> That's because I wanted the background to be blue. Because, well, it makes sense. If you can't have uh, a Mario Zone that isn't blue and red. In any case, we, uh... We have actually a kind of easy area. Hard boss, but easy area. I maybe should have done this way sooner. Oh well, live and learn, I guess, but... Oh, that's probably not any good. I missed the double, that's totally fine. The reason I think this area is easy is because there's no bonus stages at all. There's only the four stages in this one zone. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this is a cool little secret area if you have fire. Pretty sure you just get a bunch of money and lives, but, well, I have all the lives I can hold and thereby have no real need for money. So, I don't even need to collect all these coins that I'm collecting falling down the shaft, and then I got hit for it. And then I didn't even hit the bell. Oh, well. That's what hubris gets you. And now we have the really awkwardly placed level right in Mario's stomach. I'm going to say it's in the stomach and not anywhere else, because that's even worse. And you're an awful person if you think that it's somewhere else. You know, just saying. Probably should have, I don't know, not been running all that time? Oh, great. There we go. Um... I bet there's a way to find... No, oh, yeah. You go down one of those pipes, you can get around to the extra life. Wow, I need to stop get, like running into the enemies. Like, I really want to just run ahead, but there's spikes on the ground, and the ball's here to help you get past them. You could, I don't know, bunny ear your way past all this, should you have the bunny ears and not have screwed up like someone else. I wonder who that is. Who could have possibly messed everything up? Oh well, at least it wasn't Luigi. Um, depending on which one of these you go up, you'll get a thing. I'm pretty sure there's a mushroom on this one, a Goomba here, and one of these would be the one I want. I don't know which has a fire flower, which has a carrot. Ah, carrot, cool. Well, very good. Looks like I'm not going to fuck everything up that badly now. Proceeds to screw up all the jumps. But that's halfway through this area already. So I'm probably going to maybe do another area along with this one. Hey cool, an extra life. I guess I'll get it. I I don't know why I wouldn't. Oh, why am I on my tongue? God, this area just bothers me. Also, Mario should totally end the game by having the Mecha Mario go destroy his castle and kill Wario. No, 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 no. I thought I was gonna fall into the spikes. These, uh, I guess it's black and dark green, but these ones will move around if you land on them. The red ones won't. Uh, I guess that they should be the darker colored ones if you're just playing, you know this on an actual Game Boy or something. But, yeah. That's something to worry about. Because they will usually take the uh, intersections in the background on the chains. Oh, great. Let's kill this guy so he's out of my way. And then quickly duck here or else you'll find yourself running into the spikes as the conveyor belt suddenly changes direction on you. But it's pretty obvious where it does. The, you know, arrows are painted onto it. Uh oh. That was going to bounce on that guy into the spikes. That would have been uh, unfortunate. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I... Oh! Damn bullet bills. Great. Um, How badly have I screwed myself now? Badly enough. I have to wait for time to jump off of this up to here. Okay. Yeah, if those get to the end of their path, they kind of... They don't really explode, they just flash and then disappear. And if you wait in this thing long enough, I believe it carries you right next to the bell, so you gotta jump out of it. 
Alternatively, you maybe could have been super badass and bounced off a bullet bill and done that, but, well, I'm not super badass, apparently. Or today, or ever. And get a thing. Don't. No. No, just. No. Didn't get a thing, and even if I had gotten what well, I was close to getting, I didn't need it, because those lives. Ooh, I do want that. I want that very badly. Weird, uh. These things feel like they're more from Mega Man than from Mario. But they're like really slow roto discs from Mario 3, but not as flashy. You know, the things that look like disco balls and would spin around, um, like statues and stuff. You know what I'm talking about, you probably don't, but you should. Because Mario 3 is great and there's not any part of it that should be forgotten. <sighs> I need to... I don't even know what my problem is right now. I'm just... I, I'm probably taking it too quickly. Whoa. Those things look really weird when they're all black. Just... I don't know why, but their colors change drastically depending on where you're at. Like, the previous age had them, they had the same color that uh, Mario does. And I think their shots would have been black. But then, in the moon, they're always the same color as Mario, as well as their shots. And now here they're black, and I don't know what color their shot is, and I killed it before we could find out. And now I have Fire Flower, which is great for this, because we have to fight the three little pigs. I don't know why Mario is terrorizing the three little pigs, but uh, they're in his zone, so I guess he has full jurisdiction to screw them out of the here. Oh my god, this is one of the harder bosses of the game. Great. Each of them take three jumps to kill, or some amount of fireballs, and they get faster each time they take enough damage, usually, you know, from one jump, and they're actually kind of difficult to deal with, but that wasn't so bad. Well, you know, once I took my time, I think that's my problem right now. That run button, I need to maybe let go of it sometimes. You know, it's like a throttle, you just do it a little bit. Here, there, here, there. You don't need to hold it the whole time, Homer. Settle down. So, let's go gamble, because I want power-ups before I go into the turtle zone. And... The video has not been very long, so... I'll probably do that area as well. What do I get? Good enough. I think a fire flower may be more useful there, but... I will take bunny power. So, I'm going to go ahead and change the color setup here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now we have really weird bl super sky blue grass. Like Namek. But it's okay, because once we get in here, now it all makes sense. Yeah, we're underwater for most of this one. So, yay, watercolors. At least, you know, they, they're supposed to look watery. I think I will get that fire flower. Come to think of it. The uh, bunny power may be able to let you like skip over most of the stage, but I'm going to want the fire flower for later. And there's enough stuff in this world. Oh god, no! One of the sharks! Sharks are completely invincible. Like, you can kill it with a star, but I'm never going to get another star. At least, not from killing enough enemies. And I don't know where there are any stars in the level. I don't mind collecting these coins either, because the... Uh, you know, the gambling house, to, the thing I need to do to get power-ups only costs 30. So, uh, yeah, I could do the thing, what, 12 more times? Uh, so there's no reason for me to bother collecting with any of the coins I'm seeing, but I'm doing it because it's a Mario game, it's just kind of what you do. It's habit. You can't stop. You can't stop the top. Okay, let's get in here before the shark turns around. Okay. I'm not a fan of the sharks, if you couldn't tell. They bother me. They bother me greatly. Probably because I don't like sea creatures. The bigger they are, the worse they are. Which is why the whale we're going to is going to be so much fun! Yeah. Fun. We'll call it that. 
more like terrifying. But first we have to do the submarine, and there's a bonus exit for this level. It's the most fun bonus exit in the entire game! I'm... I... Oh god. There's only one bonus exit I've been not looking forward to. It's this one, because... You'll see. You'll see shortly. I don't really care about this guy that... Oh. Okay, I thought he was going to hit me. I wouldn't care. Because, uh... Well... Here, let's just show you. You gotta get hit a couple times. Because, see this path? Yeah, you need to go through here. You know what you can't do in this game? Do a little duck jump. And when you, uh... Stand up, it forces you out. When you're big. That means you have to go in small. That means you can't get hit. Yeah, and of course, they put an awful long hallway that is a gauntlet. Those things will, of course, kill you. Those things will, of course, kill you. Right. And then... Oh, good. Ah, there it is. Ah, there, there's this bonefish who's really hard to dodge. I'm not any good at it. And I'm going to get killed. Yep. Oh, God. So, I'll get back to the hallway. Let's try this again. May take me a few tries, people. I'm I know I've done fairly decent through the game. You know, I guess this is evidenced by my having maximum lives until this death. But uh yeah, this is really not the easiest thing in the world. Arrgh! In this. By the way, these guys, I know I said it in the uh, third video, but they're Happy Gordos from Kirby. Which, you know, nice little reference. Damn you, Bonefish. Damn you! Move. 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 Okay, good. Didn't get smashed. It's coming down. It's going up. And I got by. Thank God, hopefully, there's not another one of those. Oh, there's a shark. That's why the shark can't get me, because I'm small and I'm ducking, and now I go... And I'm at the end! Yes! Now let's hope I don't mess up the bonus stage that I don't remember anything about. Ha! So let's see what's going on in the stage. Um... Cool power. I like any power-ups. And... What? W... A... I think I know what's going on here. Well, this cannot be allowed. Ooh, an extra life. Good reward for taking out the W in the stage, putting an M in its place, because, well, you know, M, A, R, you get it yet? Ooh, fire flower. I, if you haven't got it yet, then, um, well, come on. Pay attention. Oh. Yeah, what is it, Wario? Land. Oh, goodness. That spikes. That is hurt. 
This is carrot. This is good. This is float. Mario Land 2. Because, you know, that's the game we're playing. Also, it's a old standard that uh, Mario games kind of do that in one stage or another. At least in Mario World and this. And probably others. And now the giant whale is awake and that's just terrifying. Just everything about it. It's eyes. It's general size, relative size to myself. It's bigger than the submarine. It's so big. Also, maybe I should have made the stage yellow. Oh, well, I didn't. In any case, I need to get up and out of here because, well, for once, the bonus level's entrance wasn't at the uh, very end of the stage. So I actually get to show going through a lot of this again. Ooh, holy crap, the shell will kill the Happy Gordos. That's news to me. Um, the left is just a alternate path I don't really care to go back into. It gets you to the same place from earlier. Basically, you were supposed to have taken it a while ago. But I decided to go up and get the star. Granted, the star is on either path, but I got the star. I wonder if I can't kill enough things. My murdering spree just long enough. And checkpoint. Good. Max lives again. Whoa. Almost ran right into that thing. Oh, goodness. I'm glad to have gotten that uh, bonus stage out of the way. So I go this direction. Direction leads to good stuff. Coin. Money bag. Big coin get. Unnecessary. I won't even need to use the slot machine ever again. I mean, maybe I could use it for a power up. Which actually wouldn't be a bad idea, but still, come on. Come on, really. Really, come on. Um. I should be able to get past this guy without hitting him. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little difficult. And I wish I could gain speed in the water, but I can't, so this is all very slow. Ah, whatever. That's fine. That isn't, though. Maybe I can win a prize? Uh, Mario wants to get prize. Mario wants to get Fire Flower? Fire Flower would be nice for a boss stage. Let's see... what about now? Ooh, yeah! Didn't think I was actually going to get it. I thought I went just too soon. So, there we go. Put a feather in my hat. Go and blow some ass up. Or burn some tail. Whale tail, ha, huh? get it? No. No. You shouldn't get it. Maybe ducktail, though. I wouldn't mind burning some ducktail. Or, you know, playing some ducktails. Way forward's going to do another awesome thing. It's not like they didn't do a good enough job with Double Dragon Neon. Now they have to remake another game. Oh. Quickly becoming one of my favorite, uh... What would they be? A third-party developer? And I don't even care about that damage, because there's another one right there. Not that I actually knew that was there before I was, you know, throwing myself into the bonefish, but... Yeah, I'm playing recklessly because I don't really need to worry. Whoa. Also, I'm pretty sure the tips of these things in the background, the ribs or teeth, I'm pretty sure they'll hurt you. In fact, test. Yeah. They do, in fact, count the spikes. So, that's a reason to be careful. Aren't you guys glad I just threw myself into danger for no good reason? <laughs> So that later on, if you were to play the game, you wouldn't need to worry about learning experiences. You would just have to, you know, get through the game. But hey, at least I take all the guesswork out of it. And that's already it. We're at the boss. Which is super odd. I didn't expect it to be that short of a stage. And the boss is a giant octopus. Um, wow. I think the babies may be immune to the fireballs, but the boss certainly isn't. Um, eh, it's like fighting with Ridley. They block all the shots. Oh shit, and they hurt me. Just great. Well, nope, get over here. I will kill you. There. The, uh, dark blue tonsils up there, you know, the kind of bolded ones, actually prevent you from moving. The light blue don't. 
They're in the background. And that is all six golden coins to open the way to my ultimate destruction because the final level of this game is actually pretty tough. Like, I'm going to lose all hundred lives on it tough. Okay, maybe not that bad. Pretty bad. I, uh... Ominous noise. Kind of felt like it should have been... I had a... Da -da 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 under it or something. Well, let's see what I can win. Although I'm probably going to want to get something specific. That's not what I need. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to keep doing that until I have a satisfactory power-up. And then I'll go take on the Sage of the Last and Wario and... Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to be bad. This is going to be painful. You can see him even running around in there. Ugh. No, no, I'm done. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Next time, liberating the castle. See you then.